With the runaway success of the NES, Nintendo was resting on its laurels during the 1980s and was reluctant to develop a new video game system. However, the days of 8-bit gaming were numbered and Nintendo would soon have to enter into the 16-bit era. Like he did with the original NES, Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamauchi tasked the development group Nintendo R&D 2 and asked engineer Masayuki Uemura to come out of retirement to spearhead the design of this new project, the Super Nintendo. The SNES featured several specialized chips, which included the SSMP sound unit developed by Sony engineer Ken Kutaragi. Kutaragi also wanted to do more collabs with Nintendo, including a CD-ROM attachment, but alas, that didn't pan out. On the graphics side, the SNES had two custom graphics chips, which allowed for eight graphic modes or effects the most famous of which was Mode 7. Mode 7 allowed for the scaling and rotation of the background layer. This effect was used in the racing games F-Zero and Super Mario Kart, as well as the overworld maps of Final Fantasy 4 and 6. But these graphics chips were pricey. The SNES, as originally designed, would have been far too expensive, so Nintendo made the fateful decision to supply the system with a relatively slow CPU to meet the $200 price point at launch. Consequently, some first-generation SNES games would be plagued by flickering and slowdowns. But Nintendo would have a workaround for that. Unlike their competitors, which had expensive CD-ROM peripherals, Nintendo focused on pushing the SNES NES hardware further via specialized chips in its software. These chips would essentially do most of the heavy lifting and provide wonderful effects like 3D polygons and sprite scaling. The most famous of these would be the Super FX and FX2 chip, found in the game Star Fox and Yoshi's Island respectively. Love for the SNES remains strong over 25 years after its launch. Pre-orders for the SNES Classic opened up from the major retailers on August 22nd, 2017, and just like it did in 1990, it immediately sold out. Despite promises from Nintendo that they would produce more inventory than the NES Classic, pre-orders were quickly snatched up by scalpers, or bots, or nostalgic Nintendo fans. Have fun!